All right. Today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today I'm going to talk about a little more education where we're talking about what's going on with the Google machine learning crash course. So it's a course that I went through and I've been going through it and I thought I would share it with everybody out there and tell them, hey, what's in this course? Why you should take it? How long it should take? And how awesome is it? So the Google machine learning crash course. So what is it? It's, it's Google's way and it's a free course. So very important free course. You can go out there. It's in the comment section or description here below, but gives you an opportunity to go out and learn. So it's a free course around machine learning. And it really dives into kind of, you know, the approach to machine learning, even the basics around what machine learning is, but then it also starts diving into some of the more mathematical concepts, but it still keeps it high level enough where, you know, you don't feel like you're going deep but you have an understanding. So like I said, some math functions and everything, but a lot of it on the application side. So it's broken into 25 different lessons. Um, I think they were saying, uh, I think they talked about how it's you know 15, 15 hours to complete. I don't think it takes uh, 15 hours so much. Uh, it's something that I was able to knock out, you know, doing 30 minutes a day for, and I wanna say I locked it out in like you know two and a half, maybe three weeks. Very interactive though, so it gives you the opportunity. We're not just watching a video, you're not just reading. You're actually getting hands-on with some code. So you'll go through and you can do it all from your browser. So you're not having to download or import or install anything. You're able to use Jupyter Notebooks uh, you know, that they host on GCP. So as you go through those, you can actually go in and test out some code. So you know, whether you, it's all in Python, so you're using you know, Pandas or you know, even TensorFlow in some areas, pretty cool. They give you the data sets to go through it. So I think it's, you know, it's a very valuable lesson. You know, it's like I said, free for 30 minutes a day. It's worth the opportunity to go in and just look and find out, okay, what's going on and get some kind of level of understanding. One of the things I like most about it is it's, it's actually put on by the people that are involved in various projects in Google. So you get to learn from the data engineers and data scientists at Google around their approach to, you know, how to implement these and kind of walk through. So like I said, not, not always just video, some of it has reading, but then you have code to kind of back it up. So it's definitely, definitely something that's awesome. So what did I learn in this course? So probably the most important thing that was really stressed and helped me understand was how to fight and how to combat bias in your machine learning code. And so specifically around bias, not like bias, like, you know, we have as humans around, hey, you know, I'm biased to loving data engineers, right? It's not that kind of bias, but even bias with your data. And so how hard it really is to have good data sets that aren't going to, that are, that, that are not going to be biased because everything, you know, we're, you, you can't train with every piece of data in the world, right? We don't, one, we don't have it all documented yet. And, you know, in a, in a, in a place to do that, but you're always limited with what you have in your data set. And so you always want to make sure that you're not training models specific to this data set so that when you go out and implement them in the real world they're and they get different data sets that they're more accurate, right? And so there's a lot of steps and a lot of things that they talk about, about preventing bias and really understanding it. So really for me, that was a huge, important, important concept to really understand. And one of the reasons that I really liked the course, I actually went through it a couple of times, took a ton of notes. So my recommendations are go through it, make sure you take notes um, and then go through the course. So so let me know what you think about the course. If you go through the course, make sure you put it in the comment section here below. If you have any questions for Big Data Big Questions, put them in the comment section here below. I'll do my best to answer those. And let me know, like I said, if you take the course, how did you feel about it? Did you like it? Am I totally off base? And I'll see you again next time on Big Data Big Questions.